Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I'm on my way to the chiropractor, fairly miserable, par for the course. And when I first started trying to record this video, I got a phone call that I thought that I dismissed, but it actually answered. And it said it was Amazon and that they were checking to see if I bought a MacBook Pro on my account and if I authorized it. And if I didn't, that I was supposed to push a button. So I was like, ah, shits and giggles. I pushed the button and the guy's like, hi, this is, this is Amazon. What can I do for you? And I was like, you tell me, you're the one that called me and it hung up on me. <laughs> so guessing that was spammy. But what it does call out is that I have had a number of my accounts attacked and people try to get into a lot of my shit. So I think it's time for me to buckle down and go out there and get a proper password program so that I don't have to worry about this kind of crap. And I don't have to remember 10,000 different freaking passwords because that sucks. So that's next on the, on the you know list of things to do. It is like 56 and sunny, so it's not that warm. And I don't know if it's today or tomorrow that's supposed to be the colder day where it's gonna go down to the 40s again. At least it's not in the 20s and snowing because yeah, that would suck. I have a lot of day job stuff to do. Um, again, once I get back from the chiropractor, that's what I'm gonna be dealing with uh, just because I need to get shit done so that I don't get overwhelmed with all the stuff and keep putting it off and you know, blah, 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 blah. So lots of stuff to do today that if I just sit down and actually do it, it won't take me that long. So I need to sit down and do that. So, all right, I'm about to go get cracked and then we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Okay, kids, here's something you haven't seen in a long time me going for a walk. <laughs> I decided, although it's a little chilly, it's still very pleasant outside, sunny anyways. I did my meetings today. I also did the first part of that big project that I said that was gonna take up the next two weeks. And I did my homework before so that I made sure that I was doing shit right. So I sent all that stuff out and I thought to myself, you know what, time to take a break. So I threw on the ND filter on this one inch sensor and connected everything up on the RS and decided to go for a walk because I haven't done this in so long and I need to start getting more consistent exercise in. Meaning fatty's got to get out and start walking every day. And I know I said I was gonna try to do this twice a day, but baby steps. I don't wanna throw myself into the fire too fast because I need to work up to it. One of the things about this Insta360 one inch module is that it has a, like a, a further distance away that it has to be to focus correctly. I have to say, I haven't really noticed there being an issue but apparently there is. So I, beats me. Uh, so this could be in focus, or at least I could be in focus, or I could not be. In which case, sorry, shit happens. I, I think because this new Insta360, I gotta stop saying Insta360. I'm just gonna refer to it as the RS now. But this selfie stick, the newer one, is a, a tad bit longer than the original one. On top of which, I have one of those ZDO aluminum tripod feety things on the bottom, which is adding, you know, like a whole other hand width. So, I don't know, six inches, five, six inches, giggity, of distance to keep this that much further away. So I could, well, I can bend this down even more. And then I don't know if it's gonna show the selfie stick or not, but I mean, this is, this is a good distance away from my face. And of course I've got a lot of stuff in the background and I have to remember that there is a lag. So I, I do something, turn away one without, you know, like it's, it's not quite a second, but there's enough of a lag that it makes it obvious that there's a lag. And that kind of messes with your melon every once in a while when you're looking down and all of a sudden the person on the camera does something slightly slower than the person doing it in real life. This is weird. I, I can't remember the last time I went for a walk it's been a long time and I used to do this twice a day. So I don't even know if I could do the full walk. I may not even attempt it, especially because it's already quarter after five. I haven't been down to the boardwalk in a long time either. 
So I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, and I'm gonna have to check and see what the temperature is gonna be like and the weather. I don't think it's supposed to be rainy at all, but it's definitely it, maybe just a tad bit warmer. And then it's gonna start going up in temperature and being a little bit warmer over the next week or two, but still historically not as warm as it normally is. And that's kind of messing with me. And what's messing with everybody, because a lot of people are like, what the hell? Why is it so cold here? And it's snowing in places where normally it doesn't this time of year. So the weather's all jacked up. You know, nothing you can do about it, but it is. Wow, this is really dark, except for the sky. Kind of neat, that, that uh, ND filter really darkens things up, on screen anyways. And I'm gonna be in and out of shadow, so apologies right now for what you get. Hello, doggy. <coughs> Oh, you must be new here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you big happy dog. But you see, they're well behaved because they're not leaving the yard. They also don't have collars on, so it's not like they're going to get shot. They just know to stay in the yard. So there always used to be two of them, and now there are three, and I think the one has get, gotten the other ones a little bit jacked up. So they're all barky. They never used to bark at all. And since I haven't been this way in a while, you know, there's definitely some physical changes to the neighborhood. That's Purdy. Used to have one of those in my yard growing up. We called it the bee tree, even though it was really a bush. And there always used to be those big fat bumblebees and I've talked about this before on this walk because I see these all the time and they just remind me of my childhood of being afraid of the bee tree. My watch is telling me how far I've walked. See, here's, here's another one. Right now, it's too cold to be a bee tree because it's not warm enough for bees to be out. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is fun. I haven't done this in a long time. And, you know, I used to do these like almost daily. This used to be what my videos were every day, is me out on my walk, blathering on about something stupid. So this is what you get. At some point though, I'm always like, okay, well, I know I'm gonna cut a lot of this out. And I've already filmed for like 45 minutes so, you know, I got to cut that down to like a five to 10 minute video. And a lot of times I get into rants where I start bitching and complaining about work or something like that. And then I, you know, I'm like, all right, yeah, you're never going to see this because I don't talk too much about work and especially not bitching or moaning or talking about anybody. Not that I do, but you know, I just don't, I don't want to put that out there. So it's going to be the same thing now. I'm going to cut a lot of this out. You're not going to see a lot of what I've talked about on this couple of miles. But it is very nice. And this, this helps soothe me as well. I don't always have to drive to Pleasure House Point to get some kind of stress relief. This feels good. Now, normally I don't do this until after I eat dinner. So I feel like I'm kind of walking off dinner. Sorry, a bug just flew into my mouth. But I cut all that out. Anyways, yeah, so I normally do this after dinner, but I just felt like going now. Like I felt like if I didn't go now, that I would start getting headache and everything. I did go to the chiropractor. It was a mess and uh, much better now. Hopefully I'll get a decent night's sleep and can start the damage all over again. All right, I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of this walk. I've been filming for 25 minutes and that's more than enough. Let me know what you think of the footage. Let me know if I, you feel like I was in focus or out of focus or if it was annoying. As always, let me know what the, what the audio sounds like. I have the Rode Wireless Go 2 hooked up to it, which is pretty much what I would do with this anytime I was gonna film or not use any audio at all and go with the internal, even though that ain't the greatest, but you know what I mean? So yeah, let me know what you think of all this stuff. And also let me know what you think of this style of vlog. Because again, I used to do this all the time because I walked twice a day. So it was just convenient for me to be able to crap my stuff out onto you unsuspecting folks 
while I was out walking. So let me know what you think. But that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.